help us grow our show. Go to thecud.tv slash support. Hello and welcome to our lockdown edition of Chewing the Cud. We are still here in our virtual studios, bringing you showbiz news, internet stuff that you might not have seen, and our brand new feature of our lockdown lessons. And now it's time to say hello to the man who was once stopped by security at the airport for having a single custard cream in his luggage. It's Mr. Mike Benny and Rowe. Hello. <laughs> hello. What, uh, is that a genuine? Did you genuinely just have a custard cream in your luggage? Well, well, yeah, because what I, I like to take biscuits with me on holiday. Just because if I'm stood in a queue at the airport or wait, I'd just like to have a little bit of a snack. And okay, Grandma. I'd, yeah, well, well, I'd been to get a coffee and they gave me a pack of custard creams. I'm like, oh, I'll have one of those later on the plane. I put okay. it in my bum bag and that there went in. There's a, sir, you have a single biscuit in your bum bag. I'm like, yes, I do. So did you just, did you eat it or did you yeah, throw I did, it away? I went, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> like Cookie Monster. Yeah. So yeah, um, so I'm here with all the fun things that I've found on the internet. And I'm here with some amazing showbiz news. So you can keep in touch with us on all the social media outlets. Just search for at the Cud TV and our website, which is thecud.tv. And if you want to see this show on a podcast, you can search for Chewing the Cud on your podcast app. Now, I know for lockdown for you, Lee, you've been very busy, yes. um, whereas, whereas I've been pretty dull, to be fair. So should we play another game? Um, does this mean... Oh yes, are you ready? Um, I, I think so. I'm braced. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. It's time for... Game of the Week. So, this week, uh, we've got Polaroids. That sounds filthy and rude, and I'm in. <laughs> yeah, seen it, boy. It used it. Um, so last year, our producer went on a couple of gay cruises, and he's asked us to try and help him identify some of the people he's photographed. Okay. Oh. Now he says okay. he he likes nothing more than standing on the poop with a long exposure or a quick flash as he shoots over the bow. Oh, okay, and then he gets see his the camera th- out. Yes. Um, have you got your chicken ready? I have got my chicken ready. Look. It's good, there. good. I have, I have my baby clacker ready. Shall we see the first photo? Go for it. Yeah. Like a Polaroid picture, as the song, yes. as the song said. <laughs> Shake oh, it like oh, a Polaroid oh, picture. Oh, trunks. oh, some there's lovely a trunks there. Oh, oh, it's me. I'm not sure. I'm loving the arms. Um. <coughs> oh, that's Lee. That was I'm you. gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say. Oh, um, hey, uh, Hugh Jackman. Huge Even though Jackman. the names are yes. huge Jackman. <laughs> you said that just as the name came up, Lee. How clever of you. <laughs> so there's okay. another one coming from the looks of it. Slightly curled up at the corners and yes. a substance Still on it that we don't really yes. know. No, <laughs> it's a bit of a... Oh, it's oh. being revealed. I can see some oh. abdominals. It's me! It's me! <laughs> it's not you. It's not you. Oh! Who I I'm, I got in there first. Oh. I've got I got in there first. It's Daniel Craig. Yes, it from is the, coming out of the water from the Bond thing. You see, it might, I I keep forgetting to scan my eyes. <laughs> oh. God, it's it, a while to develop. It does, isn't it does. It? Remember these poles so she, take forever. I have very white trunks. I don't. I have no, a Scooby Doo. No. Um, oh, I'm gonna say Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson. Yeah, because it's very it's Ooh. old school. He's got a he's got a large pant on. I should see. Um, Elvis Presley. Oh no! <laughs> it's Elvis Presley. They're practically the same. They're, They're the same person. In, yeah, you have to you have to be aware that I am looking from a distance. Yes. Like Matt Midler. Um, <laughs> I am also looking from a distance, but I can't stop staring at the crotch area. <laughs> oh, another one coming okay. up. Let's see. So this is... Oh, oh, that that oh, is this oh, a slight I angle? I think it of might his, be what I think it is. Is I, I, it is Pex? Um, um, no, it's not. Oh, oh no I idea don't know who, that, who that is. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, I think it might be um, him from Hollyoaks. Um, is it Gary Gary Lucy? Gary Lucy. 
Gary Lucy. No, <gasps> it's Tom Thomas Schaffernecker. <gasps> oh, right. No, well, see, nobody gets closer. The, the weatherman. The weatherman, yes. Yes. Gary Lucy, oh. where the hell did I get that from? I don't, the 1990s, I think, but I'm quite impressed yeah. with Thomas Schaffernecker. I think it's we should get on the show. Okay, let's go for it. How, who's winning anyway at the moment? I think you, it's me, obviously. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my my oh. chicken is poised and ready. Tattoo. Oh, is it tattoos? Oh, it's just is, it, is it? Is it not? Um, oh, I, uh, I don't um, know. No idea. I'm gonna, I just, um, I'm gonna, no idea who this I'm, is. I'm going to say Marky Mark. <laughs> and Marky his funky Mark. bunch. Although you can't see them in the photographs. <laughs> who is it? Who is it? It's going coming closer. Matt Damon. Oh, Matt Damon. Oh, oh. He's, he's been working out. <laughs> exactly. Um, yes, that's the <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, okay, right. It's a very small Oh, hairy, hairy stomach, or is it a tat- No, it's not a hairy stomach. Oh, <coughs> that is hideous, and it's Rod Stewart. <laughs> what is... Just, he's wearing a budgie smuggler. That is not good. That's not even a budgie smuggler. That's a thong. It's a shiny thong. It's Sir Rod Stewart in his, Oh, no, it's stripey. It's oh. a stripey <laughs> That's, banana is- hammock. I'm with not, a, with a scarf. I don't think the scarf is going to do much Yeah, good. I know. Why is the boot of his car open? What's going on? <laughs> is, <laughs> is he getting his picnic out? <laughs> I'm trying to... Oh. <laughs> right, I've got to get this one. Come on. What is it? Who is it? Oh, um, that's a large a pant. <laughs> um, uh, it's, gonna, it's, it's Gary Lucy again. Oh, no. oh, oh. Oh, I'll, do you know what, Mike? I'm going to let you have that one. Because... Oh, thank you, because I was first. Yeah. <laughs> ben Cohen. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It Plus... is. Yeah. <laughs> do, you think he's, do you think he's got a small rugby ball down the front of those pants? <laughs> I think he's smuggling something. <laughs> <laughs> so, at this point, should we see what score we're at so far, Lee? The, yeah, scores on the doors, please. Got to make it. Apparently, it's three one to me. Oh, sorry, sorry to Lee. Sorry, I missed. Yeah, uh, oh. I think but you'll I, find it I'm, is. Yeah. I'm sure I can resume. I'm sure I can resume. Re- you redeem can bring myself. it back. Yeah, I can pull it back. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so pleased. I know. Um, so, should we start with try and find another one? These lovely Polaroids. Who will be revealing their groin today? Ooh, um, Ooh, I'm intrigued. He's got a he's, he's got a weapon. Oh, I've, I've, he has. I've let go of my chicken. Oh, <laughs> I know who that is. Uh, <laughs> that is Aiden. I want to say Aiden Shaw from uh, the program where th- it's yesteryear. <laughs> Paul Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden Aiden Shaw from 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 Poldark. I'm very excited about this. Let's <laughs> see then. It's oh, Aiden Turner. That's no Turner. points, Lee. No who, points. Who, oh no! I got Aiden and I got Poldark, but the surname. You know, uh, uh, who is Aiden Shaw? Who is that? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just. I'm impressed that you you had to grab your chicken uh, <laughs> and give it a squeeze. <laughs> So yeah, apparently you're gonna get half a point for that. Okay, well Which yeah, that's justified. Unfair. Yeah, justified. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we've got another one Let's coming see. now. Oh, it's a moody oh, black pants. and white one. Yes. Ooh. That is that is um, definitely that's, me. That's an impressive. Um, I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking because obviously at a distance yeah. I can't see properly mm-hmm. I think it's him from Coronation Street it's not is it, it I, I think it's <laughs> him um, from Cory I think it's Ken Barlow <laughs> no. it's Calvin Harris oh it's Calvin Harris oh who is, so, who is famously Ken Barlow's son, I think, you'll find. <laughs> he's a musician person. He's a DJ. He is, yes, he's the a, DJ. A, oh, he, he's been working out as well. Yes. Okay. Right. Let's see if we've got another one coming up here. If so. it's not Christopher Biggins, I'm finishing the game now. <laughs> Come on, Biggins. Come on, Biggins. <laughs> Come on, Biggins, in your pants. Um, oh. The chicken is ready. The chicken is ready. Yes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I know it's uh, um, it's. It, I watched the film in him last night with the dinosaurs. Rah! You watched the it's, film in him. Um, oh, um, oh, I can't remember his name. Uh, Chris <gasps> Pratt. Chris oh, Pratt. Chris Pratt. Let's see if it is. Yes, it's Chris Pratt. Oh, he doesn't look yeah. the same without being chased by a dinosaur trying to eat him. Okay, so we've got time for one more. Okay, let's do it. Let's roll. Okay, let's see. 
come on. Let's, let's see if we can develop it along. Ooh, the chicken a, is oh, poised lovely. and ready. Oh, laps, thin. I believe they're yes. called. Oh! That's me enthusiastically rattling my thingy. Um, that is the, one of the few sp sports personalities I know. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Is it? It is. Yes. Oh, well done. Your rattle sounds suspiciously like a rattlesnake's tail. It was a bit... It was a bit. <laughs> Let me make it hiss. Coming up, we will bring you our next instalment in our lockdown lessons. But you've got just enough time to suck on a mento while drinking a glass of Coke, because coming up after the break, it's Lee with his showbiz news. Be the twinkle in our eyes. Go to thecud.tv slash support. Help us grow our show. Go to thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, if he hasn't got it, it's not worth having. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. So, the first bit of showbiz news we've got is about a uh, Pixar new animated short film. Um, and this mm -hmm. is called Out. And it's a really, really sweet sort of short animated film about um, a gay couple. And um, what happens in it is, is that the lead guy so the guy in the picture that's got the beard um he mm -hmm. is they're going to move in with his partner but he hasn't told his parents that he's gay so he's very stressed about it um and as in sort of like pixar disney type things magically out of a rainbow comes a cat and a dog we've got a little picture of the dog there and what happens is is that he swaps um his mind with the dog and so he right. becomes the dog and um he then tries to um hide everything in the house that could um give away that he's gay um and the so it's all very i haven't I, because i don't have disney plus i can i've only seen the trailer and it looks really sweet i have actually seen it have you watched it i have watched it um and, and, and tears happen it's nine cry? minutes and and you know, I, I, cr I proper cried as well. Not even just like a little, little tear. It was a full on big cry. Uh, at nine minutes of cartoon. But apparently, everybody <laughs> is being really positive about it um, yeah. and saying what a, you know, what a lovely um, story it is that that can be shown to kids. So that that's a positive mm -hmm. step in the right direction. Um, the yeah, next definitely. bit of showbiz news we've got is about the Vivian, who obviously was Ooh. the winner of the first UK drag race. So she has, I think the kids say dropped. She has dropped her new single, um, <laughs> which you're about is to say something else. Then <laughs> <laughs> it's apparently. It's an eight. It's called Tonight, and it's an eighties influenced electro pop banger um, with soaring vocals Ooh. reminiscent of Adam Lambert. So oh, yeah, reminiscent. Get down not with not you, as Bursa. good as just reminiscent of. Just reminiscent. Now, what, what she's been <laughs> what she's been saying is is that when she's doing like her drag act, um, she does covers, so they don't really get the opportunity to um, sing original songs. So she really wanted to kind of expand her audience. Um, so Ooh. she's she that's been released. There isn't a video. Well, there isn't a proper video because obviously we're in lockdown and, the, and you can't really make proper uh -huh. videos. So if you go on YouTube, you can see like the lyric video of it and it's okay actually it's 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 a bit of a bop so she's not done a, a music video even though we're in lockdown not at the moment people no. are managing to do it yeah but whether or not there's one being processed i don't know or or you know put onto to a hard disc i don't know what people do <laughs> so it, <laughs> <laughs> it, <laughs> so, where, where the one's been sketched out <laughs> yeah like like on the um like on that video from the 80s with um hey, what was the one where, where, yeah take on me yeah. i was struggling then yeah. and you, you knew what i was saying <laughs> we're in sync. um so yeah so she's she's so she was also asked if she would be interested in representing eurovision for the uk at some point oh. and she said i mean i wouldn't say no the Vivian in Eurovision. That that was my impression of the Vivian. 
It was astounding, wow. that, wasn't it? Um, I, I, I am astounded that that happened. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell it was a Liverpool in accent because it, it was that good. Um, it's okay. But I, I personally, I prefer... Um, a friend of our show, Davina's um, music that she's got out at the moment. So she's got um, an EP out at the moment, which oh. is called Decoded. Um, and um, it, that's got is some that, really good stuff Davina's on it. that bottom so, we can see? Yeah, that's, yeah, she's, she's in profile. Her left yes. cheek is in full view and her right cheek <laughs> is in darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, and that's 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 quite a good, it's quite good. So there's some quite campy songs on. She's got like um, mm. a single called the Drag Race song. Um, and then there's kind of more dancey stuff and more pop stuff. So yeah, good good for the queens. They're, they're releasing yes. some good music. Um, now the next, the next bit of showbiz news is about um, Scarlett Moffat. Who, Who's that? Everyone will know. We started off on Gogglebox and then she went into the jungle. I can't remember where she won the jungle. Do you, do you know if she won the jungle? Is, she, is she the um, is she the one with the teeth? The teeth, like Newcastle. She's from Newcastle and she has teeth. <laughs> yes, no, she's, she's got very white teeth. Oh, uh, like she, has she gone down? Teeth. Has she gone down the celebrity route of getting like? Horse teeth fitted over their own yeah. teeth. Right. <laughs> the, okay, like yeah. like super white veneers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she's done <laughs> stuff. <gloss> paint. <laughs> <laughs> she's done stuff on Anton Deck and stuff. So she's 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 quite a quite a prevalent. She's 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 done really well. But she has launched her own podcast on BBC Sounds, which Ooh. um she discusses with her boyfriend. So it's all f- sort of done from her home. And she discusses mm. so she's really into things like conspiracy theories and mysteries and stuff. Um, right. And um, she um, is is under the impression that Elvis did not leave the building back in the day, right. um, but he is currently alive and he's living under Blackpool Tower, um, just there right. under Blackpool Tower. So, I don't know what. So, I don't so know what. <laughs> the guy that was famous in the what fifties, sixties, yeah, yeah, and is now still alive at the bottom of Blackpool Tower. And keeping quiet about it. Yeah, and she's got proof, although I'm not quite sure what the proof is. Um, but she's adamant that he is still alive and, and living. I, I, I don't. What was that song? There's a there's a there's a there's a bloke down the chip shop thinks he's Elvis. That thank you, thank you, tiny person in my ear for telling me that, that it, it was it was Kirsty McCall. Um, so yeah. Now is so that she, the producer or the voices leak? Because one of those need of to them. be worried about. There's loads going on. Yeah, it's this this this. They're, they're talking now. They're, they're just, just voices, just voices, just voices. <laughs> Make them stop. Make- <laughs> okay, so do, do you, you were right about the winning um, celebrity oh, in the jungle. Facts. I was a career, get me out of whatever. Um, she yes. won the 16th. 16th. Oh, 16th. You know, 16th years. But I have listened to this podcast and I actually find mm-hmm. it hilarious because she genuinely believes that all these things. So she believes that there, there, there could well be a zombie apocalypse. She believes uh-huh. that Paul McCartney um, was replaced. He died in a car crash in the 60s at the height of the Beatles right. fame and he was replaced mm-hmm. with a clone. And um, um, you, okay. there are. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. do you not remember in the 90s when they got excited that they managed to clone a sheep yeah and they've been like doing 30 it 30 years the after this yeah but yeah and um, she also believes that she was potentially um abducted by aliens although they didn't take her so when she was a child she remembers (laughs) quick take her no don't she looks like she's a bit of a mouth (laughs) she remembers being about 10 and being in bed and a light coming through her bedroom window that she is convinced with the aliens looking for people to abduct but they didn't abduct her um so they just was it an orange flashing light was it the binman (laughs) <laughs> Did she wake I, up early? And the bedman's going I don't, out. I don't know, but she, you know, it, she's she's properly convinced. And to be fair, it is a really funny podcast. Um, so I would listen to that. And like I said, you can get it on BBC Sounds. Um, and um, that is the end of this week's showbiz news. I'm off to fight the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> You see, I w- thank you for that, Lee. But when she's, I can't get over the fact she thinks she's been abducted or almost abducted. 
I mean, yeah, she, we've all woken up in a hedge, sort of like feeling hungover. But that's apparently, not really a massive beam of light went into her bedroom window, and she had a dream about aliens. So when she mm. woke up, she assumed that it, that what what was going to happen that she <laughs> she potentially been abducted by aliens. Her dad believes that there could be a zombie apocalypse and he has prepped himself ready for a zombie apocalypse so he's got like stuff in his house ready for when is he where all the toilet paper went toilet paper <laughs> um he's probably got all the all the juice shoots ready for when you get thirsty <laughs> juice the, <shoots>. the, <laughs> <laughs> not even Capri Suns, because at least Capri Suns the, come the in that reflective rings, foil. So. All, the, <laughs> all the things you need for for a zombie apocalypse. I think it's I think it's brilliant. Um, she, yeah, um, I, I I would quite like to. And the, the funny thing is, is that she goes and, and goes, no, it's true. And then her boyfriend goes, no, it's not. Um, and he, he'll, go, he'll go, I so want So he's the facts. voice of reason. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he'll go, I want facts. And she'll go, yeah, well, I've read it on the internet. And he'll go, that's not a fact. That's what you've read. <laughs> so, so really, she's just Googling stuff and finding stuff that she could possibly say. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So any, yeah. anything about mermaids and um, the oh, no, mermaids are real. And st- the mermaids are real, are they? Yeah, well, if you, you're allowed unicorns, I'm allowed mermaids. <laughs> um, thank you, Lee. Um, so coming up next, we have our lockdown lessons. But before we even get to the lockdown lessons, we've got to just have a quick bypass through what I found on the internet in the buzz. Be our spanks. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, I know that he's been spending a lot of time Googling things while he's drunk, so it's over to Mike to see what has been occurring in the buzz. (laughs) Thank you, Lee. Yeah, um, not just drunk, also while snacking, because, you know, my lockdown body needs to get bigger. Um... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but I have found a lot of a lot of interesting things um, all over the internet. We know that the hashtag BLM has been big. Um, Black, Black Lives Matter, um, and we definitely think that they do. Um, but we're here to give you a little bit of light relief, so we're going to steer away from from the bigger topics. Um, but we're still going to talk about lockdown. So in the UK, the rules about lockdown get uh, updated quicker than a drag queen mid set change. Um, <laughs> But the news came about that as of the 1st of June, something new became illegal. Can you think what it could be, Lee? Is it wearing Crocs in public? No, this is newly became illegal rather oh, than actually should be illegal. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't... I, it, is, it, is it something to do with the, um, the insertion of other parts into other people's parts that don't live in your house that you're, you don't know? <laughs> so, yeah... Um, as of the 1st of June, uh, it's become illegal for you to actually have sex with someone that's not in your house. Okay, So that's not bring them around and then you can have sex with them. That means that if they don't live there, you can't have it. Okay. Is there not, is, no. is there not um, a, a loophole around this? Is there not kind of like if you've got a lovely gazebo, <laughs> you can go and have... Um... <laughs> no, because that's part of your household. Oh, but it's so outdoors not though. To... Um, you're not allowed to have sex outdoors, Lee. That's still illegal. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, ne- <laughs> sorry, neighbours. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so I've I've been trying to think a way, a way around it, and thought, you know, how about if I, I set up a really short-term tenancy agreement with them, like an hour-long tenancy, <laughs> and then it's because <laughs> then they'll technically live there. Yeah, and it's not working out, so you'll have to leave. Put your pants on and go. Yeah, exactly. Okay, <laughs> exactly, but. But then you've got the whole problem of them turning around and going, well, I, I now get squatter's rights because it's a, a short-term tenancy, and so it's not going to work. Yeah. Because the last how, thing you want someone how, saying, oh, no, it's nice here. How are they going to police this? Are, are there, like, is there, like, the, the rumpy police that are, like, in <laughs> the vans that police. have, like, a satellite on that detects people having intercourse? I'd apply for that job. <laughs> 
<laughs> You'd want to go around to see if people are having intercourse. He doesn't just knock, knock on, the, on door the door. Hello, and are say, you Stop it, I know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we don't. I, think we, I might just start doing that randomly. <laughs> so we're just banging on people's door, going, "Yeah, I know what you're doing." <laughs> we, so we don't know how they're going to 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 manage this because, to be fair, if they can't stop a million people going on a beach, um, how are they going to mm-hmm. stop people having a bit of sensual time? <laughs> <laughs> sensual time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's also been um, so I, advice about making sure that you're still wearing masks if you are having sex with people that live in your same house, um, which I, I think is going to be a bit of a mood killer or bondage. So they're saying that if, you, if you're so if you're living with your partner, your husband or your wife or your boyfriend, uh-huh. right, and you are having special cuddle time, um, you've got to put yes. a mask. <laughs> you've got to put cuddle a mask. time. <laughs> <laughs> really special cuddle time Lee. really really special <laughs> you have to put a mask on even yes. though you don't wear a mask for most of the time is it because you're swapping well, some people fluids? do wear masks yeah they do Zip, with zips yeah <laughs> that's very specific that yes it is i think we should move on okay i still have more questions <laughs> i still have many more questions <laughs> I, I think we I'll let you Google it later. Okay, thank you. Google wearing wearing masks during sexy time and see what you find. Okay. Um, now, we've all ordered things online and had things, you know, go missing in the post. Um, well, it could go completely... It could go worse, to be fair, than an item going missing. So let's story about it. In Australia, a, a fun time fantasy game went horribly wrong when two men with machetes turned up at the wrong address. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to let you carry on because there's questions. I have questions. Yeah. There's lots of questions, and there'll be more even after I've told you everything. So, they'd been hired to carry out a client's fantasy, okay, where he wanted to be tied in, up in his underwear, mm-hmm. right, and stroked with a broom. Okay. <laughs> yes, stroked with a broom. But well, why, why did they have machetes then? <laughs> so, this is, it gets better. Um, they arranged it over Facebook. The client moved. So, the guy that hired the gentleman uh, moved dresses but forgot to tell them. Okay, that's that's a pretty quick move, isn't it? If if you <laughs> yeah, um, not moved as in house, home, and everything. Just moved oh, as in he... change location. Okay, okay, right. Yeah, um, they then entered the uh, home of the uh, the original address, where they found a man um, not best pleased. <laughs> so they were carrying the machetes as part of the role play. Oh oh oh, oh dark. Okay uh, okay, uh, and and I w- um, so. I would imagine that the gentleman who had not requested the special service wasn't best happy with with the machete wielding no, brush no, maniacs. <laughs> not really. Um, so he found out that when the men called out the name of the client, um, the resident turned on the light, um, removed the sleep apnea mask, very you know, um, and then saw him standing above his bed with machetes. They explained the situation to him, um, and they went, oh, sorry, mate, <laughs> which I think is a bit of a <laughs> hold a machete. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Not the guy with the broom. Ooh. <laughs> um, and then they went to the right address, apparently. Oh, oh good. <laughs> yeah, they then left and went to the right address. <laughs> I'm so pleased. <laughs> and then, yes, the gentleman that had originally hired them then cooked them bacon and eggs. Um, <laughs> And a short time later, the police arrived. Um, but it was a bit, a bit strange that <laughs> a it's short like, time so later. So, a it, short so, time so the later. short time was that he they'd gone into somebody else's house, presented you know with over machetes. this person with machetes, gone. Oh, sorry, we're in the wrong house. Driven to the other house, done their sort of <laughs> scenario with with brushing him, and with then the had bacon yeah. and eggs, <laughs> and and all, and that that took so much time <laughs> for the police to get there. Oh, I, I, that that sounds reassuring. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But um, apparently he paid them over £5,000, <gasps> $5,000, sorry, if it was, quote, really good. Uh, how, oh. <laughs> I, so, I, don't, I think it was based on the commission scheme. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't understand any of it. Um, I don't understand why he would be, <laughs> why they would need machetes. Um, the, the, the brushing down with a brush that's with that's a broom yep. strange um, stroking with a broom stroking with a broom okay stroking with a broom all yeah, of him brushing. or just he, one wasn't particular dirty. area he just needed a stroke with it. <laughs> okay yeah right yeah okay uh-huh. well done australians and, uh, 
<laughs> exactly. Keep up the good work. Um, and don't forget, if you see anything that you, you find interesting or funny on the internet, you can share it with us at the Cud TV on all your social media platforms. But not stuff like that. <laughs> or you can. Stuff like that too is always welcome. <laughs> um, now, when you're shopping, Lee, what's your favourite thing to do when shopping? When I'm shopping? When you're shopping. Buying things. <laughs> buying things. You don't have a, a particular thing that you like to do while shopping, like listen to music or... No, I just need to go in there, get the shopping and go. I, I don't... You like to go in, get out yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, I don't... Yes. Yeah. In and out. Okay. In and out. Well, um, a lady in China was filmed um, doing the fire-fingered shuffle round Ikea. Thank your pardon. What? She was caught masturbating going uh, around Ikea. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, the suspected uh, porn star pleasured herself on camera in front of um, children and elderly shoppers around Ikea. Um, it, it has gone um, viral on social media, as expected, uh, with Ikea coming out with a statement that said... Um, they should browse in an orderly and civilised way. I'm, I'm horrified. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> quite frankly... It's, it's a different shopping experience, isn't I'm it? I'm quite frankly lost for words. I mean, I suppose if it was very obvious that what she was doing, then that would it be... It was very oh, obvious. It was very obvious. It wasn't kind of, you know, you know, she was wearing a... It wasn't... She wasn't sat on a sofa having a quiet watch. She had leg over oh, armchair and... OK. And where, fully exposed and... Am I? Where where um, where is she from? Where where was it in this country or was it in Australia? It was in China. Oh, in China. Yes, it was in said. China. Right. Okay. In China. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, but it's it's led IKEA worldwide to release a statement. Well, you know, I'm all for playing hide and seek in I, IKEA, which is what we've spoken about in the past. <laughs> um, but I yes. don't really particularly want to see people um, giving themselves um, enjoying. Yes. Yeah, a bit self cuddle time. Sexy time for one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Not good. Not by the cuff and flams. I don't want that happening near those. <laughs> cuff and flams. Yeah. I think that's what she was doing, wasn't it? I mean, cuff and flams. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all for that I found on the buzz this week. Well, thank you very much for all that, Mike. I have never thought of doing any of that in IKEA, but uh, as soon as it opens, I'll be down there. Um, so thank you. So now isn't the time to see if dog food is fit for human consumption. As coming up next, it's the lockdown lessons. We are crotchless chaps. Go to thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. So last week, Lee had us cutting it up undergarments and wafting them under our noses. Um, but let's see what he's got planned for us this week in our lockdown lessons. Lockdown lessons. Right. Well, this week, I have got a beauty tip for you um, using stuff that you've got around the house. Ooh. So, Mike, are you tired of those huge bags under your eyes? Are they getting you down? Are they making you sad? No, because I tend to use the, the placenta okay. of a number one. The answer one is yes, Lee. They are making me sad. Um, <laughs> Okay. Yes, Lee. <laughs> oh, well, I have, I have the perfect, perfect remedy for this. So, what you're going to need to get yourself, kiddies, is um, a cup of warm water. Not hot, but warm. Mine says glitter makes me happy, and it does. Um, I have a chewing so the So, you get yourself milk. a cup. Oh, okay. Okay, you're on brand. I'm on brand. I'm not. Yes. Um, so, once you've once you've got yourself a cup of warm water, you you get yourself a cup of tea, a couple of tea bags. Okay. Um, any kind of tea bag. See, I have a choice because you know how I'm caffeine free. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have I have green tea, lovely little green tea. Yes. Okay. Or I have decaf pyramid. Okay. Stop waving your tea bags in which, my face. Which which tea bag is best for tea bagging? Um, well, as we need the caffeine uh -huh. um, in the tea bag, um, I would. You have no caffeine I have no tea caffeine. bags. I don't there. do caffeine. Um, no caffeine. 
Okay, well, you're going to have to just be accepting of your massive saddlebags under your uh, eyes for, for, for the rest of your life. So you choose whatever well, tea bag you I'm want to I'm going to go use. for the green tea because it's on antioxidants. Oh, well, okay, well, that might be good. Yeah. That might be good. So um, what I'd like you to do is to place place your tea bag delicately into your okay. cup. So. Okay. Pop them both in. Do I just... Do I just... Do I, I just... Like just, this. G- gently lower them in. Do, do yeah, I need to tease yeah, them up yeah. and down a little bit? No, just plonk them in there. Plonk them in. Just plonk them in and leave them in. Yeah, plonk them in. And leave them, leave them for... Uh, because, we're, you know, this is TV. We, you know, we, we're doing it a little bit quicker than you normally would do. But if you're doing this at home, then you would leave your tea bags in the warm water to, um, to, to, to stew or, to, um, or, or to, to, you know, infuse their stuff. I can't, I can't leave them. It's very, it's very unsatisfying leaving them dangling like that. What, well, you, you need, you need, that you need to have the full essence because basically um tea bags contain the tea in the tea bags contain mm. something called tannin or tannins which yes it's what stains your cups yeah but these tannins are very good at um sort of soothing skin so what okay. you what you need to do is when you when you have um suitably steamed your your tea bags <laughs> So my, my my bags are fully moist now. Okay, yes, right. So what you need to do is you need to remove them, but you, need, but you don't want the you don't want other fluids to, to drip everywhere. You've got you've oh, got, no, you never want the no, fluid from your bags no. everywhere. I've got, I've got a spoon. I've got a spoon. I'm going to make a pincer movement, and I'm going to uh-huh. I'm, go- <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> I'm going You're to mush- pincering your bags. I am. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to mush it to the side of like if you if you were making a brew, you would do that, wouldn't you? You would mush the tea bag at the side with your with your spoon. No. Would you not? No, you you, you, you dunk tea bags with and your, you wiggle with your, them. And... With your fingers in hot water? Well, normally they've got a string on. Yeah, well, normally I would have one of those those Victorian clamper things, those silver things that you dip in and squeeze. Um, but I haven't got that oh. today. Um, the maid, it's the maid's day off. So, right, you so, so <laughs> squeeze, <laughs> squeeze the juice out of the bag, out of the tea bag. You want to squeeze my bags till they're yeah. empty? Squeeze your bags right. until I'm I'm squeezing so the juice comes out mm-hmm. of my bags. Yeah, yeah. You want a little bit of moisture still in there, so uh, you, you don't I'm want them... them dry. Oh, sorry. Right, but just dip it. Oh. Dunk it back in again. Um, you don't give you know, it another little bit of a dunk. You don't want you don't want a completely dry bag. Um, that's never good. Um, <laughs> I have removed most of the moisture. Moisture, yeah. So the little bit of moisture. Now then, what you have to do it. Uh, what you have to don't taste it's, them. It's green tea. It's tasty. So you have to remove one spectaclase um, from one's face. <laughs> and now I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Oh, oh, I dropped my bag. Oh, sorry, I picked it up. Um, <laughs> So what you do so is... I've removed my glasses. So you remove glasses. And what you do is gently, with, with your tea bag, you place it... Clo- oh, close your eyes first, obviously. Don't stick it in your eyeball. But close your eyes and well, gently... I can't see what I'm doing. Gently. I'm going to turn my hat round backwards so that I'm a hip-hop. Um, <laughs> You're so streetly. I'm a, <laughs> a hip-hop teabagging my own face. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if I could do that, I wouldn't leave the house. <laughs> um, <laughs> gently place... Um, th- so get all your tea so it's at the bottom of your bag. Uh-huh. Okay. And oh. then, um, yeah, give it a shake. Give your, give your bag a shake. Oh, they're splattering everywhere. Yeah, well, be careful. And then what you do I- I is... I was giving it a gentle touch and then it just started to... So got moisture has, all over has, has the tea... Um, gone to the bottom of your bag. <laughs> yes, I, I, my, my bags are now very heavy at okay, the bottom. Right. So then, what you do is you close your eyes and gently you pop a mm-hmm. tea bag over your eyes so that the tea is is concentrated on the underside of your eye. This is great television, okay. this, isn't it? <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm feeling okay. relaxed already. Now, oh, um, yes. Obviously, when I go. <laughs> We're not going to sit here for ten minutes um, with with okay, tea bags on our faces as much as we'd like to, um, but you would you would you would say. <laughs> I think I'm slightly aroused. Um, <laughs> you can, you Only can, slightly. You can take them off now. You can take them off now. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, so what you would do is you would find a relaxing spot, spot in your house, put the tea bags over both eyes, and um, lie there. 
I don't know, contemplating life and perhaps listening to some some Kenny G on your wireless. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Relax. Do you know what I, do you know what I think it's going to be very relaxing. Is I got a cup of tea? Oh, you've oh, okay. Um, yeah, waste Ooh. not, one not. Um, exactly. And what will happen amazingly is is that any of the any of the swelling or the saddlebags that you've got under your eyes will miraculously reduce. And that is that that is celebrities pay hundreds of pounds for that kind of treatment in Harley Street. So um, I, I I read that story as well about someone paying for tea bagging. That's not what they meant, Lee. Is that not what you were expecting? Not what they meant. No, oh, they ter- did spend a lot more money tea bagging, but it oh. wasn't for that. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, perhaps we can do that next week. Um, but um, <laughs> oh. but yeah, but you can also use. You can't. You don't just have to use them for. Um, your, your eye bags tea bags you well, once they're in this state if you've shaved and um uh-huh. I'm, I'm saying your i'm saying i'm pointing to my face i shave you don't shave your face um you may shave other parts of your I shave my head so you shave your head yeah head. There, you, if you've got a bit of a rash a bit of an irritation you can just pop it on your face just pop it on the area more like uh-huh. um <laughs> So, so if you've got a bit, if you've got a bit of a rash, you can pop it on your special yeah. area. Bit of a shaving rash. If you know, if you've if you've done a bit of manscaping, and uh-huh. and the old chicken's looking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Slap a tea bag on it, <laughs> and it will soothe. It will soothe that rash right away. And, and, it's, and you, we all we all owe it to ourselves because we're worth it. Um, yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what you're saying, Ellie, is if if, I, if I've got a bit of tenderness down there, I should just pop a tea bag on it. Yes, a moist tea bag in the area, and the tannins will um, constrict the blood vessels and make it feel good. <laughs> I don't think I want my blood vessels constricted <laughs> down there. <laughs> well, you know. And I'm, I'm sure that everybody will now be trying that. And um, there'll be, like, the toilet rolls disappeared out of the shops when lockdown started. There'll be no tea. There'll be no tea bags left on the shelves in any of the supermarkets. And it's because y- we, you saw it You saw it here first. So that We did see it here first. And we'd like to apologise, I think, <laughs> for seeing it here first. <laughs> so please, viewers... <laughs> If if you if you do if you try it, please let us know how we went on. Um, um, if you please use don't your send feedback. photos if you do nether regions. No, please no. don't send. Oh, don't just well, do. or do. No, no. Just whatever kidding. whatever tickles your fancy. <laughs> um, and um, please please remember, uh, be safe um, at all times. That 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 is my my lockdown tip for the day. Thanks for that, Lee. I'm I'm sure that the viewers will will greatly appreciate you teaching them how to use tea bags correctly. So if you at home have got any unique tips like Lee has to how to cope with lockdown, please send us some pics, send us some ideas. We'd love to hear them all. And don't refer to my unique tips in that way. <laughs> it's very rude. So that is the end of the show for us. Um, we can't wait to see you again next week. So as always, if you want to look at past episodes, type in Chewing the Cud, type in with your fingers. <laughs> or any other part of your body that you want to. And we will see you all again soon. Bye. Bye. Be our legend. Donate at thecud.tv/support.